Well, one of the things that makes that discussion difficult is that very often it's, it suggests, but, but with no further detail mm -hmm. as to how actually to do that. And what would be, what would be the outcome? Would you then just have uh, two Googles uh, or two Facebooks? And how would that change the market situation? Uh, one of the things that I find to be uh, very interesting to look at is actually what kind of obligation do you have as a dominant company? Because what we see is that back in the days when you could be dominant and you would want to expand to another market, well, you would have to have brick and mortar. You would ha hire uh, sales staff, uh, people to do the inventory. You would have more uh, people to do the auditing. It would be a somewhat cumbersome thing and, and there would be quite high marginal costs. Now, if you're a digital giant to enter into the next market, does not at all have the same uh, sort of physical things that you have to do. And marginal costs of entering a new market are very, very low. So maybe we should reconsider, well, if you have great powers, uh, how then to make sure that the responsibility that comes with great power actually allows for the market to stay open and for uh, competitors and also for neighboring markets to remain open. Um, and the thing is that we are in some sort of urgency. So, uh, so it's important to, to be able to finalize those discussions within a relatively short time frame. And with who do you want to have those discussions? It's just with these companies, but do you also want to involve the European Parliament? How do you intend to go on about this? And when do you think it will be important no, to... No, this will decision? have to be a debate uh, that involves the legislature, because this would be sort of the uh, ex ante uh, requirements. Of course, we will keep doing uh, our, investi uh, our investigations, like the one we have in, in Amazon right now, uh, the questions we're asking to Apple, the questions we are going to Google and to Facebook. That, of course, would continue. But to say initially, well, if you're big, if you are powerful, you also have a special responsibility. And that will have to be described in a more granular way than we do these days. Did you get any sort of indication from Facebook CEO yesterday that that's where they're that they're ready to have that discussion? Well, I think that for um, quite actually many CEOs has, has been passing by uh, recently. I think I've that's noticed, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> a thing in in the beginning of the mandate, and it is as if there is a, a change of tone. Uh, a lot of them say, "Well, we realize that regulation is is needed." Um, maybe not in, in great detail as to what sort of uh, regulation I think that is left uh, for us. Um, but maybe more sort of on the, on the content side of things, uh, on the responsibility for what you bring forward, and less sort of on the, the competition side of things. But I think the important thing is this sort of change of, of, uh, of tone and approach and atmosphere, realizing that, uh, that your digital uh, market is maturing uh, and that the entire uh, marketplace becomes digital. Also, what used to be sort of, you know, more manufacturing, old school, that also now develops in a digital way. And that maturing sort of comes back as a need to, to regulate certain issues that are critical. There is a change of tone. That, mm. that is, that is uh, for sure. And yesterday I was in uh, one of our shows previewing our conversation today and we had one analyst that said, yes, Facebook has changed uh, its tone, um, but it's still talking about content and uh, harmful content rather than taxation and competition issues. Do you think that these companies and Facebook in particular are actually opening up to a debate about regulation so then they diverge uh, the focus from regulators over competition and taxation issues? Well, I don't know about their strategies. Uh, I, I don't think that if they had that kind of strategy that it will be successful because I think that, uh, well, in, in the Commission, we have an interest both in taxation, competition and content. I think you'd find the same in the European Parliament and I definitely think that you will find the same with, uh, with voters. Uh, the question of taxation is very much top of mind uh, for many, many people. Uh, the access to the market also for smaller businesses, very important. And, and I think everyone gets scared when you see that sometimes things are, are still allowed um, 
uh, to flurries that are very negative. Uh, we just had a case in, in, in Denmark uh, about uh, sort of secret groups of uh, young women uh, in, in very difficult situation with self-harm and ideas about suicide. So I, I don't think these things will, will go away. Uh, and I think that is, uh, that is coming from the fact that, that now the digital world and our physical world is, is melting together. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.